Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and I'd like to review for you a season I just watched called Creep Show, Season 2. This one was provided to me for review by RLJE Films. If you guys get a chance to check it out, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe what you guys thought of this one compared to season one. I will include more information for the to purchase one down in the description. So season two of Creepshow, if you guys aren't familiar with Creepshow, it was an anthology uh, movie. Was it a book? <laughs> um, and it got a sequel and now they've created a TV show out of it. Now the show mainly is 45 minute episodes. There are seven total episodes um, and most of them are two parters in that there's two stories on each one. So each story is only 20 some minutes. And that's kind of my biggest complaint about the first season is that these stories were interesting, but too short. They really needed uh, the full 45 minutes to really flesh out the story a lot better. Um, and so this one, you know, is kind of a lot like The Outer Limits. But if you guys remember that show, they were 45 minute episodes and they were just one story. And I feel like that's a, that's a better format. Um, these are a lot quicker and you can get through them a lot quicker. Uh, but I just feel like they, they leave a lot... Um, to be desired. Now there is one episode on here with Justin Long where he um, he makes this machine or some sort of virtual reality thing and basically you can go inside movies and interact with movies and I didn't realize it at first but I think it was like an actual movie and they were just kind of playing in front of it. Um, I'm not sure though. <laughs> uh, it was one that I had never seen uh, before but uh, definitely I thought that was the most interesting episode. Um, I really enjoyed it. And again, like I say, that one took up the entire uh, runtime of the episode. And I feel like it's a better format, personally. Uh, so the episodes, you know, cover monsters, kind of voodoo almost, um, vampires. Um, there is also an animated special, which is another 45 minute, you know, I'm saying 45, roughly 45 minute episode. Uh, it's a, it's a two-parter. Um, and it's this real kind of rough animation. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember. The first one was about a guy who gets stranded on an island. And the second one, I can't remember off the top of my head. The first one was super crazy and graphic. And uh, it kind of disturbed me a little bit, actually. Um, and then there was a Christmas special. Or do they call it a holiday special or a Christmas special? That one, again, was okay, but weird. I kind of enjoyed the, the everything before those uh, more. I wasn't a big fan of the animated special. It was all right, but it, like I say, I wasn't a huge fan of it. And again, with the Christmas one, it was okay, but I wasn't a huge fan of that one. But I did enjoy this show. I think pretty much all the episodes, or maybe all the episodes, have a guest star in them. Uh, someone you're probably going to recognize. I don't think I recognized everyone, uh, especially since there's a lot of people here listed. Some of them could have been voices, though. Uh, like in the animated ones, um, but I'm not positive on that. Justin Long was the most recognizable to me. I've always really liked him, and I thought it was fun. Uh, there was also the Breck and Meyer one. I forgot about that. That one was like kind of like Aliens, um, and that one definitely had an Outer Limits kind of vibe to it. I did kind of question some of them, like the Breck and Meyer one, uh, if there is much horror. Like, I mean, they should all be horror, right? And it kind of is, but it's it was more sci-fi. So I'm not sure that they kind of really make these all great horror stories, but nevertheless, I think I enjoyed all the stories and the acting and the quality of the production. I do definitely enjoy that they kind of include this comic book aspect to it and they'll kind of show pages from the comic book and it will um, either add to the story or fill in the story. And if you could imagine too, like there's one where they're kind of like in an Arctic base and they have like all these soldiers come in and everything and they just show it in the comic book. So you could just have somebody draw that and you don't have to film that and pay actors. And so it's really kind of a, a budget tool too, where they could kind of create these things and that happen in the, the shows that they don't actually have to, to do. And so it kind of can help make these episodes cheaper and not really take anything away. Like I, I definitely didn't think that took anything away from it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was like a fun addition to it. And so I really enjoy this show. I, I think it's a lot of fun. I personally think they would be better um, just eight 45 minute stories. Um, but if you're a fan of short stories, you know, it's probably right up your alley. So I give the season a three and a half out of five. I'm not sure if I liked it quite as much as season one, but I think it's right up there and it's a lot of fun if you guys are into horror short stories. Uh, definitely check this one out, but 
also kind of expect that maybe they're not all super scary, super horror -y. You know, maybe there's some sci-fi or um, mostly sci-fi, I guess. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, chill the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.